This is a demonstration of uh, SimTable and Redfish Group's uh, agent-based modeling framework for the web. Uh, also taking advantage of WebRTC for peer-to-peer uh, -peer browser communication for a kind of a distributed model view controller and something we're calling a Sakia, which is kind of like a grounded cloud uh, uh, cutely, uh, which is basically storing the data in file system API and local storage and index DB where maps and scripts are uh, cached locally uh, so we can run offline uh, but then sync back up peer to peer uh, when we're back online, which uh, has examples of uh, tile for uses in tile serving and uh, other applications where you don't want to centralize your tiles. So this is uh, pulling in uh, WMS sources, um, bringing in open street maps uh, on the fly, and uh, the ability to bring in uh, from open street maps the la uh, road lanes and the speed limits. So when we put in a traffic model, um, we can then just add some cars and they. Uh, automatically appear here uh, as we add them. Let me add a couple more and actually maybe turn on the traffic layer. I was kind of wondering why they weren't showing up. There they are. Okay, so as we just click in this area, there's some radius here that uh, we're adding them. And notice on the, the, the more major roads, the speed limits are a little bit faster and they're keeping to their lanes. Uh, in here we have things like uh, we're bringing in elevation from our peer-to-peer -peer servers for uh, 10 meter USGS data that we're caching and then serving up peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer, uh, or things like fuels uh, for things like doing uh, fire modeling. Let me uh, turn off the elevation here. Um, that right up here. And now we'll add things like um, a basic fluid dynamics model, very, very simple. Um, we're also looking up, get it maybe uh, different chemicals uh, with uh, different vapor densities, and we'll do a hazmat release maybe somewhere around here, and uh, change the wind up here, and you'll see this thing uh, kind of diffusing to the east and taking terrain uh, into account, uh, which a lot of the more uh, government um, uh, things like Cameo and Aloha Marplot tend, uh, don't take the elevation into account, uh, so you can actually see where it's pooling. And you can see now, kind of in a distributed model view controller, we're going to launch uh, the ability to you know, add your phone or tablet on here and uh, show it in the browser just to give you an idea of it. So we come in here, imagine this is on your phone or tablet, and as we change the wind speed and direction, notice it's now communicating over here and changing those parameters or the, uh, the wind direction here. And you can see that uh, impact here. Let me change the direction a little bit more. And things like, um, uh, if we come back here, now as we interact with our uh, traffic model, over here as we start to say, let's have these people evacuated over here. And again, I could be in the field on a tablet uh, doing this double clicking here. And I want these people to evacuate to the north up here, say. Uh, let me actually have them move over, uh, maybe to the southwest, given where that plume is. And notice on this, uh, that event then uh, propagated over here, and here's the evacuation point, and anybody in this geofence is being attracted to that uh, evacuation point. Basically a flood fill on the OpenStreetMap uh, layer, uh, giving routing information uh, to those cars. So that's just kind of a, a quick example of uh, what SimTable and Redfish is working on. We're uh, open sourcing a, a lot of the, the modeling, the agent script um, uh, language, so people can write their own models on top of this. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, uh, just look us up at simtable.com or redfish.com. Thanks.